What's up, world? We're gonna take it back with the fundamentals, man. It's me, Coach Tunde, my young son, Tayo, all right, veteran camper. Now, the one move we're gonna do after that is just gonna be an inside jab, okay? Outside turn to a shot. Inside jab, the defender comes over here. I'm using so much space that he can't go back this way. So instead of turning inside, he's actually going to turn outside and go right in there for a shot, okay? It's called an inside jab to an outside turn shot. Let's see it. Inside jab, outside turn, shot. Beautiful, okay? Do it again. Inside jab, outside turn, shot. Beautiful. Now, what we're going to see is one thing I want to make sure that you do is that in everything you do, you're attacking the rim. Again, these are things that you can think about, okay, when you're working out. You don't just wanna go through the drills and give your body a workout, you also wanna give your mind a workout. Pay attention to your feet, pay attention to your stance, pay attention to your hands, pay attention where the ball is, and imagine things that the defender would do. When he inside jabs and he turns, freeze. You can notice his foot is pointed towards the rim. The ball is on the side, of the, uh, so it's, his body's protecting it. He's not loosey-goosey with the ball. He's still in a defense, he's still in a good stance, ready to attack. What he could have done was go inside jab, okay, and then turn, and now I'm able to recover. His foot is pointed to the garbage can, and he's not in any position to score, all right? So instead of that, he wants to adjust and try to get right from there. So you're, the job you want to do is be able to step, and turn in a spot where the defense now can no longer recover, you have an open lane to the basket, and you're able to do your thing, okay? So that's the move. I mean, the things you need here, all right, to make this move work are number one, space, number two, some feet that work, and that's it. Now, if you have it, optional things, bring in a hoop. If you have it, bring in an old mom or an old dad or a baby sister to come over here and, and to play some defense on you. And if not, use your mind, imagine those things are there, imagine the defender, and think about yourself. Imagine yourself using these moves to do whatever you want to do on the, on the court. If you take these moves in a month, you apply them to your game, you practice them regularly, you're going to transform. The game's going to become easy, and I can't wait to watch your career. Peace out, world. So the jab step, the jab step is the first thing you want to do is a lot of different jab steps. You can step in front, front step. You can step inside, you can do a quick jab, long jab, inside jab, outside jab, all kind of jab. You can do a double jab. These are all type of jabs. One thing you want to notice about the jabs that Ty was doing is first thing first is you have a pivot foot. You have a pivot foot. What a pivot foot means is it's one foot that you're able to move around on and it prevents you from having a traveling call. Okay, this foot right here, his left foot, is his pivot foot. It remains steady on the ground every single time he does a jab. Go ahead, do a jab. Now, what you can be able to notice is that if he's able to effectively use the jab, he can misdirect me, which means he can direct me to a place that he wants me to go in order for him to make a move, all right? If he wants me to go inside and set up, boom. Now, if I don't step, if I don't step in that direction, good shot, boy. If I don't step in that direction, he can simply go by me. So if I don't move, okay, he can easily go by there and, and, and get himself a little shot if he can make a layup, all right? Now, you notice that the ball is always right there, held tight, okay? His hands are on it firmly, okay? His uh, fingers are spread apart. He has the ball close to him. It's not out where I can get it. If I come and try to get it, okay, he's gonna be able to incorporate a rip through. Underneath my hands, rip through, underneath my hands. His, his knees should be bent. He should always be in a triple threat position, which is something that we've taught before. 
all right? His chest should be up, his knees should be bent. He should be in what we call attack move. Ready to attack with the dribble, ready to attack with the pass, ready to attack with the shot. That's triple threat, three things you can do.